If you haven't watched the quick overview video of Teach with Cartoons Science Made Easy, I suggest you do so now, or you might not get the full benefit of this one. If you have watched it, let's get started right away. Teachers are responsible for educating students with varying abilities. While meeting the needs of students who require the material to be broken down, they also want to challenge their higher level students. This can be a pretty daunting task. Teach with Cartoons, Science Made Easy, is exactly what you need for differentiated instruction. And it's no wonder that teachers find the value of this product immeasurable. So how do teachers use this product in their classroom? We asked, and this is what many of them do. Teachers typically show three to four cartoon pages at a time which they project onto a large screen. In this particular lesson, students are learning about plant and animal cells. The cartoons are a perfect way to take a challenging concept and make it fairly simple. Teachers click the hot buttons which are scattered in the comics, such as the camera icon, to reference the visual images. These always help bring science to life. And the audio definitions which are truly great for auditory learners. Cell wall. Found outside the cell membrane, it gives plants their rigid structure. They pay particular mind to the page reviews and quick summaries and make sure to expand on the content by referencing any associated charts and worksheets, such as this one on plant and animal cells. Another click of a button will take them right back to where they left off, in the comics. Since the teacher knew she would be covering plant and animal cells in her lesson today, she has already visited the content website, which contains over 1,000 downloads and activities. She might have printed out the accompanying comics worksheet and given one to each student. It references page numbers in the comics, which the student will have to answer, proving he understands the content. The teacher might have also downloaded the key points and definitions related to plant and animal cells and provided a copy to each student in the class. The teacher might even decide to do a lab today, in which case she would have downloaded the following activity, which tells each student what they need, gives directions and provides a chart to record their data. A think and response section promotes critical thinking and an extra challenge particularly for advanced students, encourages higher level thought. These aren't the only options available. After explaining the chart in the comics, the teacher might download and hand out the following diagram for students to label, testing to see just how much they comprehended or paid attention during the lesson. For homework or classwork, she might even download this visual chart for students to complete. There again, she might pick one which requires more writing and comes with an answer key. To add even more diversity to the lesson, the teacher might pick an interactive game on the content site, such as this one. They might need a hint like me. There again, they might know the answer right away. Even more challenging, she might decide to do a match-up game on the stages of mitosis. Oh dear, I really do give up. As a clincher, the teacher might even download a quiz and hand it to her students to complete, to see just how much they understand. There again, she might want them to do this on their own time. With the student login, students are able to take the online quizzes, either in school or at home. On submitting their answers, it will tabulate the results and provide them a score, give them a certificate, and will also tell them which answers they got correct, which ones they got incorrect, and what the right answers are, making this a valuable learning tool. These results can easily be printed out, either for the teacher or for their own use as a study guide. As many will attest, the value of this program is remarkable and we look forward to providing you with great benefit. 
you are always welcome to contact us and can do so by phone, email or our website.